I'd like, like to say what was on my mind today. Everybody's a star in my book. We, we all have star qualities. And that might not be what you think, but I'm going to tell you something, in my opinion, and this is my opinion, it takes purpose on it, you know. You can listen or you don't. I want to tell you something, live and love. Remember, people will always test you. They will always push you. They will always make you go down that hill if you tumble down it, if you're really to bend over and let them kick you from the behind. But when it's time for you to wake up and stand up for right and do the just thing, instead of sitting over there waiting for everybody to make the first move for us, instead of the people deciding, well, we need to decide what we want out here. What do you want? People, what do we want? Do we want to have a country where we're all tied down to just one side of the rules? No, the rules actually should be more than one side because the country is run by a whole bunch of people and y'all think it's run by one person, that's a bunch of crap. I don't care if you put whoever in president, I don't care who you nominate. One thing you're gonna understand, everything got a shady look on it. And every time, when, like I said, everybody done some dirt when they was in law or whoever. Every last one of them done dirt. Everybody done done something. It's like Kung Fu fighting when you got to go through the debate. You know, and everybody wants to make a woman look like, well, doggone it, why should we have a woman president? But the only thing about a woman president, don't get it food. Just because there's a woman, woman can do things too. They can make you realize, excuse my French, they can make us realize that we need to think. Because women can be, they know our side, but they don't know, it's like you don't know everything. You can't judge a book by its cover. A woman can run this country better than a man, than me personally, because due to the fact of compassion. But some women do not have compassion. They're worse than a man when you put them in charge. So let's get that straight. It depends on who you're dealing with and what that person is coming with and what that person believes with and how that person roll in the street. How that person word is in the street. How that person have reacted to other people in the street. What have they done to lock people up? What have they done to uh, keep this country without fighting and going to war and wondering who's going who to call in the towel? It don't take a woman to do it because it's already messed up in the country. And then that person throws the towel and say, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Then it's going to shock the whole world because it's a woman. Like I told you, this entertaining purpose only. Don't let it fool you just because everybody comes with something. You just got to know what that person's like in their real life. Is they really like that? Is they the family person? It don't matter if you are a family person. Sometimes a family, a no family person don't have obligations and can run the country better. But when they got a lot of obligations, that gets in the way of too running the country too because you gotta fight the, all the other Democrats and everybody wanna be right. But the only person reading is the man upstairs, is, he is ruling this whole thing. Y'all sees everything, so when it ain't going to happen, if, it ain't, if he don't endorse it, it's not gonna happen. Believe in yourselves, people. It's time to get your stuff ready because things go after this deal, you're gonna see the truth. It ain't a matter of being a woman, just like we've seen with a man and a black, it don't matter. It's the same thing, it's the person that you put in office. What did this person like before you stepped them in office? That's exactly what you're gonna get. Remember that. They don't change overnight. They're still gonna be themselves. And I'm not saying nothing about any president, and this entertaining person is my opinion. Live and learn. Don't live stupid and vote for people that technically they're going to come out of it. I'm so sick and tired of one side of the country seeing that we all need to step in and say enough is enough. Why you can't nominate? Why we don't nominate who we want? Why we always got to take what everybody else gets us a little handful? They don't want you to pick nothing to people because when you do pick the person you want, they go, you're going you're gonna to check into that person. You don't know anything about what the government, you just assuming just because it looks good, it seems nice, we go along with it. But that don't always make the country right and it ain't gonna make nothing better when we do something just not thinking and it's wrong. So think about whatever you vote for 
It ain't always about a vote. It's about the people that have to live here after you voted and the people we have to deal with. I don't care if you're a woman, man. I just want you to be 